doing a very short 10 minute process video for the video hop. Thank you Shannon for asking me to join this. I'm really pleased that you've asked me to join in um, and I'm really excited to see everybody else's videos. All you people who are watching, all you need to do is once you've finished watching this is click on the next person on the top of the list to go and watch them next and then eventually you'll end up back at Shannon's video and you'll know that you've watched them all. So chill out, get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, put your feet up and watch all of them. <laughs> journaling okay. spots, how I use these sometimes in my artwork, um, you know, like to put um, like a little comment in or something on my actual artwork, I'll, I'll scan them in and send them out to Happy Mail, make them into perhaps tags. This is one that I've done here. And I've just used gel pen to go into it. Um, another thing that I will do is um, I'll just use them in my Fobonichi as well. Just to make me think of other things that I can perhaps write in it. Like my happiest moments of the day. What I'm grateful for for that day. Things like that. So to do these all you do is get your nice set of watercolours ready. Choose what colours that you want and just paint a series of different random shapes. It's completely up to you. And so I've thoroughly dried them and now all I'm going to do is work into them with a little bit of pen. Now the pen I'm using is going to be waterproof pen and then hopefully like you know it, it, nothing it won't smudge or anything like that. Just work into each one. Um, you know you can make it as difficult or as easy as you want to. Put quotes on some of them. It's completely up to you. It's just so really relaxing to do. A nice quick project. And I will be putting some of these on my blog as a download as well. Which I will put a post to below. First time I've ever done a download. But if anybody's interested to download them, please feel free. And I shall put a link to that down below. So just carry on round. Do any designs that you want to. These as well, um, if you if you wanted to, I mean you could use them on um, gifts as well as, as tags if you wanted to as well as sending them in happy mail it's a good way to get you confident as well with um, your writing I am happy because and then all I'm going to do some people might not like this but some people might I am just I'm not going to get a ruler because I don't want to and I'm just going to write the lines in freehand because I want to and it looks nicer to me freehanded it's all handmade and you don't need to be too precise I'm going to put some hearts on the end of those lines some boxes on the end of those And I've got some paint on my hand, so I'm just going to put that down there so I don't smudge it into anything else. Because no matter how much you try and get it off, you never can. Right then, with this, I'm going to go a bit crazy. I'm going to just 
I'm going to scribble in some lines. <laughs> I was watching one of Shannon's Ustream videos the other day and um, she scribbled around something and she went, right, automatically mixed media now. <laughs> it made me laugh because that's what I do. <laughs> right then, so have a little bit of a scribble around it and then I'm going to do um, like a, a scribbly flower as well. I will leave some of these as well without lines and then if people wanted to they could write quotes inside them. I do really want to. Right then, so that's the other one done. And then I'm going to go on to this one now. I've intentionally left this side here because I'm going to go into this a bit differently. I might need silver pen instead because that will show up a bit better. So let's change pens. I've got this white pen, but let me have a look. Personally, I feel like it's picking up because it's in a it's um an acrylic and a liquid X paint marker, and I feel like it doesn't really stay brilliant white. Not as good as um, the Posca pens. These these are brilliant. But um, I have to order these offline because whenever you go in shops and get them, they're always on stands and it really annoys me because people have opened them all and by the time you get to buy them, that you know, they've been scribbled with and people have messed with them in the shop. So they haven't really got much left in them by the time you come to buy them, so I've stopped buying them in the shops. Why they have to put them on those big turnstiles when you buy them, I don't know because people just mess with them. Right then, so I'm just going to do some dots. And then I'm going to leave this one free and then people can write what they want inside that one. Next one I'm going to do now. I did this on the other one and I really liked it, so... I'm going to do a mixture of capital letters and lowercase. I do on this one. I'm going to do some wavy lines, and then I'm going to send the wave the other direction to make a pattern. Again, I'm not being very precise about it because I'm just enjoying. And then the other way. And then inside, I think I might do some little dots. Put them there. And then. There you go and that is my short idea i might go back into some of these and like for example i might put some gel pen in these sections just to make it look a little bit nicer obsessed with gel pens I've got way too many can you ever have too many gel pens that's the point that's it. right then so that's my very short 10 minute process video of journaling spots hope you've enjoyed it I feel like it's been a challenge doing it in 10 minutes but I've done fine right then um, like I've said once you've done them scan them in 
then you can use them as many times as you want. I mean, it's up to you whether you want to scan them in or not, or whether you want to send these. But like I said, if you scan them in, then at least they're not going to re, um, you know, reactivate with anything people put on top of them. Um, and make yourself up a little book. Like I said, I'm going to leave um, some of these. I'm going to scan in, and I will put as PDFs that you can download on my blog. And I hope that some of you will enjoy using them. So thanks very much for watching my video and thanks for Shannon for asking me to join in. Now all that's left for you to do is go and press the next person on the list and go and watch them too. Enjoy!